Okay, so we are definitely live. How are you doing this morning, Shirley? I'm doing really well, thank you. I'm feeling, at the minute, I'm feeling really grateful for the friends I've got around me who just seem to be being really super, super nice to me for some bizarre reason. They're just um, showing me lots of love and I'm really feeling grateful at this point for, for those friends. It's one of those things you go in, I'm going to sit back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> morning for you this morning, you look all fresh as a daisy and I'm like, my hair's still wet. I'm kind of drinking coffee. and. Yes, well, it is um, afternoon for me, so I've had lots of time to drink coffee. <laughs> Well, I think that your friends recognize a true friend from the get-go. You're one of the nicest people I know. Oh, Michelle, that's lovely. <laughs> you really are. I, I, I have to say, as much as I love Audrey, I don't know which one of you deserves the other one more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that to the cosmos to answer. <laughs> yes. So yes. I have to say, um, I have shown... The portraits you've done for me with my grandmother with my sister's photo and everybody is just so in awe of your work oh but you know it's not all that you do is it no it isn't no no i am a, a trained hypnotherapist um trained eft specialist um i do tarot i am a trained nfsh healer and I have done Reiki as well. Um, it, I've got lots of things. And then I've got my lovely artwork that I, that's my hobby. I love your artwork. <laughs> is that a dragon's eye up in the corner? Yes, it is. Yeah. There's another I recognize, it looks very much like Horatio's. There's another dragon there, look. Oh, that one's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I went through a, a dragon face. <laughs> yeah, that, well, I got to say, that eye looks very much like Horatio's. Horatio's right. dragon that I work with. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, what, and what color is Horatio? He is a yellow dragon, golden dragon. Oh, yellow, love yellow. Um, he, uh, well, it, 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 it's a long story. We'll talk about it later. Um, okay. But it's one of those things that they came up and he introduced himself to me. I played with them as a child and, and now they're reopened and back and mm -hmm. say my life is expanding in ways I didn't ever think possible. And, you know, goodness. So you do EFT and hypnotherapy. Do you do it online? I don't do hypnotherapy online. Um, there's been a few um, nasty incidents where people have been doing hypnotherapy online and the, the, the line's gone dead. And so oh. halfway through a session, that's not a good thing to happen. But I do use EFT online quite often. Um, oh, and you. use EFT for trauma, um, relaxation, getting rid of different um, emotional issues. Well, you're just back from, did you move to Spain? Was it Spain? Yes, yes, we did, yes. Um, I was working in Spain. Came back, so you're reestablishing in, York, in Yorkshire, or are you around? Sure. I mean, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, God's own country, they say. <laughs> I have to say, I think it's, I've seen pictures and I think it's, it's beautiful there. I can't wait to actually be able to travel. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I love traveling. I, I'm adventuring um, anything, just different, anything different. Um, I've just started to have a go on paddle boards, you know, ch -ch -ch. Oh, nice. in the water. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I have managed to stand up, but I'm not too good, not too steady at the moment. But uh, yeah, so that's something new to me. So yeah, I always like to do something new. Well, you're you're so amazing with your very talented, very gifted, and you haven't let um, moss stick you to the tree have you oh no. <laughs> no, no, no no that would be my worst nightmare <laughs> <laughs> i had talked to audrey i said wouldn't it be grand if we could meet in toronto just a 
because it would be a direct flight to Toronto. Yeah. And I could drive up there and then we could drive all the way through America on the way back. See, that's wow. a, wouldn't it be great if you could join us? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. So let's get this 501 C three going for RE and I'll be able to get a lot of people coming in that can do great skills and teachings. And we would love to have you as one of our instructors for a period of time. That'd be lovely. Yes, that would be lovely. Yes. See? Another adventure. In Eternal a hope. <laughs> optimism see in spite of all the trauma around the uh, universe lately mm. so you know i loved my portrait so much and I'm, I'm, i will eventually have another session see who else comes through yeah. but um i'm gonna i'll end up with a a nice little conversation along the wall you can see I've, I've got a painting down here and i i don't have it up it's a soul face portrait that a friend of mine did a long a while back so oh, well, i yeah. have it sitting but yeah. now i'm kind of glad i didn't hang it because i figured that in the middle and then the the other two on one side and two on the other because i've already framed the ones that i got from you oh wow yeah i want to um i want to know timelines because i i talked to my daughter she would love to have a christmas session because i told mm -hmm. her i want to give this to anybody in the family who wants one because i'm happy to pay for everybody to have one um i've got a couple of friends i'm going to throw on in there too but um how if they because this is september mm -hmm. how long ahead of time so that the portraits get to them by Christmas. Do you think um, they should be booking out? At the moment, um, the drawing would take um, just over a week. So at Christmas time, I would at least double that um, because of the Christmas rushes and what have you. So maybe a beginning of December or something um, on those lines. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we will talk and arrange that um yeah. you were saying zoom and re and remote what can you tell the difference everybody the difference oh remote would be able to have a name and address and i would work from their name and address ah gotcha yeah. well, that um, kind of sounds like you know what you're doing <laughs> well yeah i have done it quite a lot in the past um with letters from Africa, America, uh, Germany, Switzerland, all over the place saying thank you for drawings of my auntie so-and-so or whoever. Yeah, so um, I know that it, it does work. So do you do, you when you're doing the, the drawing, do you write the reading at the same time? Well, generally, if I do it in that way, I've got more time. So I do the drawings and write down the messages and then I'll sit with it for half an hour or so and, and write anything else that I feel is right for them at that time. So it's a, a it's it's a bigger reading, really. But it's oh, not well, I have to tell my daughter about yeah. that way. Yeah. Like, who knows? She's she's quite the corker. <laughs> she i never answer questions i've never for my kids to say oh they want it this way or that way because i get in a lot of trouble i'm always wrong oh yeah yeah i say left <laughs> oh, no. they say right <laughs> <laughs> i'm lucky my uh, my youngest boy boy young man now is uh, a, a young man who once said to my husband um my mum is always right always even when she's wrong she's right <laughs> I want that child she accepts that whatever i say is is you know <laughs> i want to have one of those children <laughs> oh yeah you do that oh, very, i'm so lucky <laughs> i'm so lucky <laughs> i have the children that say prove it mom <laughs> <laughs> so, 
if that's what you say. <laughs> if you're talking about spiritual things, they've all sat in my groups from time to time, so they know that what I do with my spiritual stuff is real. So, How old were they when they start? When your kids? Start? Um, I think probably about thirteen, thirteen or fourteen, that kind of age. Yeah, and at one point I had a group of their friends as well coming in for. Um, to sit in the group for the meditation and what have you so it was a lovely yeah I miss those days I miss them must say well I know when I was training they wouldn't let the kids do anything until the age of 13 their energy was, was settled at the age of 13 they weren't going through that you um, need to get parents permission as well for something like this oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know, it's not something that you would do willy nilly. It's just um, a, as long as you organize it properly, then you, you're fine. Yeah. Well, and my kids were one thing. We we all meditated together, but um, mm -hmm. we never invited their friends in. I think there's a there was an element of, yeah, my mom's kind of cool because she can do this. But yeah, Lance was very funny about bringing his friends into the house this mm -hmm. space and he wasn't sharing it yeah oh um yeah i miss the days when the, our three boys who their friends just took us into their families and you know it was lovely and nice yeah, tanya had let everybody in the yard <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i would let friends that would say yeah can i stay the night at your house my mom is kind of yeah can i stay the night <laughs> The, like, no. the, the only negative thing about spiritualism and that time was one of my boys came home from school and they were learning about all different religions and my son said well my mum's a spiritualist what what about that and the teacher just said well they're just strange people that have voices in the head mm. <laughs> I'm really annoyed I said right I'm going in to talk to the teacher and I mean I don't don't generally lose my temper so he knows I wouldn't have gone in shouting but um he said oh no mum don't please because it'll only make it worse so we left it as it was but I was I was really upset about that yeah they all thought well, I, I was remember awful. Lance had a teacher that told him that having a third eye was not a thing all right yeah and so he got really upset and she said uh you need to write what it is that you want to do when you grow up and the first thing on his page was i want to open my third eye wow <laughs> he, was one, he was the one not so happy so i guess you know it's more mainstream now and more acceptable now yes, absolutely um i can't think how many people called me a witch or um stopped talking to me because of what i was doing yeah um but that is 50 years ago so it's you know quite a long time ago well and the hardest thing about that is is that when you come from such a warm place of love mm -hmm. you can't do this work and not come from a place of love no you can't no you can't do it correctly i do then, know well, you that, that don't work correctly um and mm. I know so, there's a lot of people that, that kind of uh, tip the scales for me hmm. comes to um, rushing in and thinking that they can do the work without full grounding, fully understanding. They don't even know how to meditate well. Absolutely. Absolutely. They don't realize when, when they start doing things like that, what kind of uh, they're not connecting to their spirit team, but they think they're talking to somebody and it's probably not a high energy. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's can be quite dangerous. Yes, it can. Yes. Um, because they've got no, um, no responsibility for the things that they're saying as well. So uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> some of the things I've heard over the years has been, oh, gosh, how can you say that? <laughs> Yeah. You know, you're you're putting it so eloquently. I, I kind of roll my eyes a lot. Like, are you kidding me? I have heard I have heard things and part of it is 
I, I don't think they understand that what they should be doing is saying, how can you help me yeah. do this better? Yeah. Instead of I do that and I do this, I do yeah. that and I do that. And I learned it I learned this on this weekend and I learned this on this weekend. And then they rush out the door and they're charging $75 and it's often making our work a lot harder. I had somebody come in one day and and start to tell me of the reading that they had been giving somebody else. And I said, first off, that's really inappropriate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you do not need to tell me. I do not need to know. No, just stop. Um, so it's one of those things that we, we fail to recognize as um, how very sincere we should be in this work. Mm -hmm. how, you know, it's one thing to discuss a problem that you may have had in a reading with another medium or psychic. Uh, you know, I was having troubles getting in. I was really struggling. You know, they couldn't hear me. I, I, you know, I have referred people when I know that, yeah, today's not the day I need to be reading. I'll refer somebody, okay. somebody yeah. else. Yeah. And I think that that kind of stuff is gone off they just don't do it anymore no no i saw an advert a couple of days ago i can't remember where it was probably facebook um but this lady is going to teach people how to be mediums in three days ah. <laughs> and she's got a great long list of things that she's going to do and i'll bet she's charging around 997 pounds for it or oh, lots of money lots of money yeah <laughs> But this, Michelle, is the reason why I first started doing groups, because I saw the standard of mediumship and I wanted to just raise that up a little bit. You know, instead of them not quite knowing what to do, I would help them to do it in a more um, responsible way. Yeah. Well, it, don't you find it also very difficult in circles? Um, because when you join a circle, it's more than just sitting there doing the exercises. Yeah. You're making a commitment to bring your very best to the game. Absolutely. Yes. And if you're struggling and you're not talking about it, or if you have questions, you're not asking those questions, it can hurt the group as a whole. Mm -hmm. We oftentimes don't remember that we're there as participants for the higher for the whole group mm -hmm. we're to build the energy together we're there to share the knowledge and i think you know it's they want to center it around look at what i can do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm very fortunate i have a good circle here yeah yeah and Thanks. mary and i sit together much like you and audrey did we sit together on, on sundays yeah yeah so, it's good to have somebody that you totally trust. It is. It is. Yeah. It's been marvelous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is wonderful. Um, you were talking about Halloween earlier and oh, all, the yeah. things, all the things that you do over in your country. Um, <laughs> and our country actually is catching up on the, the, the little children going around dressed up and knocking on doors, um, trick or treating, all this. I, I don't agree with giving kids loads of sweets, but, but this is one of the things I brings forward. Um, and I just love getting dressed up on any occasion, fancy dress, <laughs> love it. Um, but this year I am getting dressed up, but I'm doing a demonstration. So I'll be dressed in my, whatever I decide to be, probably usually a witch or something, you know, with a haggard face or something. Um, and I'll be doing a demonstration along with other friends. So, um, yeah, it's a bit different this year for me. Oh, because normally I just like to go out and enjoy myself. <laughs> so this time I'm staying in and enjoying myself. <laughs> well, I've always treated it, um, once I started studying, I started treating it it's a high metaphysical day for me. Yeah. 
it's yeah. time for our spiritual review and checking in with what we're doing and bringing to balance. So I pay particular attention to my dreams. In fact, I'm going to be doing a workshop about that. We'll, we'll be talking. I won't go too far into it because I'm mm-hmm. talking about it in a couple of uh, a week or so. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's anymore. The kids nowadays, they're trick-or-treating at the mall. Oh, wow. in my neighborhood because it's just like a little community yeah so they've got a, yeah. they've got a fixed amount of audience haven't they for all the treats and things wow well they they go to old town and they go to the mall and the kids don't really i bought probably I, I hate to say this because it shows how much i enjoy halloween uh, <laughs> I probably spent a hundred dollars in candy and they didn't come down my street because there was, you know, it was dark and they, they weren't coming down the street because none of the houses were handing out candy. I've got more kids around this year, so I don't know what I'll do. What could you do with the candy? I, I gave it away. I, oh. I literally <laughs> took it to a friend of mine. She took it up to a community center. Oh, right. Just give it away. As long as you didn't getting, <laughs> oh, I'd have been, I'd have been bigger than I already am. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, not like it was when we were kids. Are there any traditions for the holidays that you're looking forward to? Because we've got holidays coming up after Halloween. There's um, holidays as in Christmas. Um, yes, the Christmas, New Year's. Have- miss most of all is getting the whole family together cooking for 13 or 14 and um doing all the trimmings and everything i still trim up even if there's nobody coming around i'll put my trimmings up near nearer to christmas a lot nearer to christmas but um oh i love it yeah i i do uh, my husband's a bit of a, a humbug but once we get into the he he likes his gifts and he likes his you know <laughs> i don't know i uh when the kids moved out i gave lance the tree because he was the uh-huh. last Tanya already had a tree with her husband i said here you go here's the tree and i think it upset him so badly oh. that he went and he got he brought my tree you know the regular tree he got a live tree for him and he put it up in my house and it set him so bad that I was going to have a tree for Christmas that he decorated the house. He's like, no, it's not mom's house without a Christmas tree. In my house. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You know, you never know what's important, right? <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. But uh, yeah, and um, I'm not particularly a religious person. Um, but I do like to think about um, the way that people devote their lives to different religions. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's a time for me more now of um, reflection and thinking about, just thinking about others, um, lonely people, old people, um, people that don't actually have a Christmas anymore and miss it. Well, the same as I miss my family. Um, that I don't manage to see over Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, it's just me and um, my grandkids and my daughter, this, these, and my son-in-law, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really do much, and I haven't done. When, when my mom passed, it was basically either I was going down to Texas to see my daughter, or I was staying here to be with my son. Yeah. So, you know, it's to me, it's it's um, the quality of the people instead of the quantity. Because my family yeah. put their yeah. fun back in dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is that. There is that. Yeah, it's getting the most important people. The most important people. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and enjoying the time when you're with them. I used to, when when I was younger, uh, I didn't have a lot of family around me in, where, in the town I lived in. So I invited over everybody who didn't have a place to go. Oh, that's a nice thing to do. 
Nice. Yeah, I was, uh, and we sometimes there were like 15, 20 of us, and everybody bringing yeah. session. And um, mm -hmm. of course, you're going to get the best of what they cook or the best of what they were to buy. So you had a really good meal because you weren't <laughs> doing it all yourself. I When you cook that all yourself, you've tasted everything. So your meal is very light while everybody else is very stuffed, and you're like, oh, comfortable, I'm full. <laughs> I've been nibbling. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's um, yeah. It, it, it is a lovely time because most people, not not people that are lonely, but most people are more happy around holiday times, aren't they? So when you meet somebody in the street, it's smiles, people are laughing. Yes, it's a good time of year. I it's think this year it's going to be a little bit better than last year because I think this year it's going to be. 2021 is over but if you're into metaphysics you realize ha huh, we got three more years of this yeah it's not going away so for good. america well the astrology for america is we've got pluto right where america was where it was birthed mm -hmm. so birthing america is rebirthing itself and i've got to say i'm have listened to a couple of astrologers tell me not to be very excited about January. <laughs> I said, why not? And they said, when the planets start going direct, the energy cuts loose, you don't know how it's going to play out. This is not going to be an easy go. Right. I'm tired of the doom and gloom. Why can't we create? Here's my thought. If you want, if they're going to have doom and gloom, that's what you'll see. Yes. If I see happy and celebration and peace and life, then that's what I will see. Yes. Yes. Totally <laughs> believe. Totally believe that. And this is one of the reasons why first thing on the morning, I always, always, as I wake up, um, I look down, my little dog sleeps at the side of the bed. I look down and I, oh, I'm so pleased I've got you. And then I think about my friends and then I think about my health, all the nice things. And it just sets you up for the day. It's, you it didn't is. say your husband in all of that. Did you notice? I am so grateful for him, yes. <laughs> I knew you would be, but you didn't. I was like waiting for you to say, and I looked over at my husband. <laughs> no, 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 he's usually gone to work these days before I wake up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So. There you have it. <laughs> That's yeah. too funny. I'm uh, ah, hang on a second. Um, so sorry, I have my my schedule in the mornings are very kind of crazy. I have a very dear friend who's been in the hospital, so. Um, I told her, her friend, I will be calling her back here in a moment when we're done. So I apologize. Okay. <laughs> yes. that so, her. Yes. How is, um, we know that everybody can get in touch with you through Resonant Essentials. Yes. If they want, I want to show everybody and I'm going to do this. Um, because it blew my doors off and I want everybody to see it that hasn't had a chance to see just how very accurate you are. I'm trying to find everything. I don't remember where I put half of, like, wait a minute. This happened after. Okay, so I'm gonna show everybody. This is a picture of my sister. I'm trying to get it without the, here, let me turn the light off. Mm -hmm. Well, that made it worse. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. Mm. There we go. That's a little she's better. Kind of bleached out. Yeah, well, she's kind of, she's like me, very light skin, although she's darker. That's my sister. And that is the portrait you did of my grandmother. Mm -hmm. And everybody 
was very, I wish I could, maybe if I make this bigger. No, it, I'm gonna make it smaller. <laughs> anyway, I'll post it at the bottom of this video so that people can really see how truly accurate that's, you know, not only did you get my grandmother, but you, she was very much like my grandmother. Right. And um, I was really excited because it shows the accuracy of your work. And I wanted to make sure everybody knew what a blessing that, you know, they can do this for friends and family. It's, it's very powerful to have this done. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it's, it, when I first started doing it, it was a little bit too scary for people. Um, because I was a bit afraid of the tarot cards and then a bit afraid of the clairvoyance and knowing things about them. But then to have a picture of somebody that I'd never met or knew um, drawn in front of them, then a lot of people just went, no, no, that's too accurate, go away. <laughs> <laughs> You're tapping into my soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Well, I want everybody to know what a blessing it is and to really seriously think about, I mean, you're going to be buying Christmas presents. This is one heck of a gift to give to somebody. Not do they, they not only get one, but they get three. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, this is, um, think about it, guys. Uh, Shirley is absolutely amazing. Go to the website, book your appointments, you know, so that you can, and like you said, you can do a remote, which all they have to do is give you the name and the address yeah. of someone. So mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a um, email attached to, because it's a new website, if, if they can email you through the website. Oh, if you yes. can't, send me the name and address uh, and I will forward it to you. That's a good idea. And that way we know that it's getting through the proper channels and I can follow up with that. So anybody out there, if you want the remote, you want to surprise somebody with a gift such as this, it would be really an awesome opportunity to get that done. And then you'll have the reading and it'll be all set to go. Um, mm -hmm. So start mid-November, if not sooner. Yes, yes. Well, let's get you busy. <laughs> yes, I do tend to get a bit busy around that time of year anyway, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, get you start booking now so you'd be busy. <laughs> All righty, dear. It's been lovely to talk to you, Michelle. Same here. We'll catch up with you in a few months. Yes. A couple yes. of months. We're yes. going to rotate this through and just do catch up. <laughs> okay. All righty, dear. Okay. Any questions you don't have, post on the bottom of this video and, and Shirley will answer them. Yes, I will do. Yes, I will. <laughs> Okay, bye-bye for Thanks. now. Bye now.